Well, the University of Cape Town is on a mission to rename some of its buildings. In 2015, uh, UCT made headlines during protests calling for the removal of statue commemorating Cecil John Rhodes. Rhodes, who served as Prime Minister of the Cape Colony from 1890 to 1896, was an ardent believer in British imperialism. But for more on the UCT name changes, we're now joined by the university's Vice Chancellor, Professor Mamukheti Pageng. Prof, good morning to you and uh, thank you for your time this morning. This is quite a big decision by UCT and I know you're not making it alone as the Vice Chancellor. You've actually invited students, uh, the alumni and part of the UCT community to be a part of this process. Why the renaming and why now? Well, the renaming is important because it, um, it helps us to deal with the past that we are not proud of as we build a future that is inclusive, that can uh, build a sense of community among us as UCT, as the UCT family. And when you say why now, Pumelo, the, it is not now that we start. In this journey started some time ago, and these buildings that needed to be renamed were identified back in 2016, uh, even before I got to UCT. So this has been a process, and it takes a long time. I mean, anyone who's been watching how the naming happens would notice that um, the change uh, of name of the Jameson Hall was announced in 2016, mm. um, uh, but... But, but, but in fact, that was just the start of the discussion that lasted a year and a half. And only after a year and a half could we announce that we're naming the building um, Sarah Bartman Hall. So it takes a long time. So with, and, and that's the journey that we're starting with the, with the SMATS, um, SMATS uh, residents. And, you know, it was identified in 2015, 2016. Mm. And now we've... Um, uh, we, you know, we've removed removed the name, and we want to agree on a future name. And that has that process has to be inclusive. That's why it takes time. Yeah. It's not something that we just discuss overnight. Yeah, Prof, I remember a couple of years ago when I covered uh, the Cecil John Rhodes statue, the students obviously vandalizing and removing the statue. Uh, they also lamented that it wasn't just about the removal of what symbolized, um, you know, imperialism, British imperialism, but also it uh, symbolized systematic issues at UCT. Uh, what changes will also come with the renaming um, of, you know, some of your residences and some of your campuses beyond just you know, remaining. Are there any changes uh, that you have already started on, perhaps, or that you plan to, to start on that may pose challenges, uh, you know, for the university? I mean, the changes to the curriculum have started, mm -hmm. uh, but names matter, symbols matter. Uh, the names have to reflect the values of the many different groups that make up the UCT community, students, staff, and, and alumni. And so, so the, as we work on, on our curriculum, um, on reworking our curriculum, which is a process that started in 2016, um, different uh, disciplines started, different departments started working on their on their curriculum, the, the names and the symbols around campus meet, meet also to follow suit. And this is about inclusivity. So, so it's not as if the, the change of the name of the residents will restart a new process, mm -hmm. but it continues a process that started some time ago, makes it stronger, makes everyone feel that this is their space. Uh, they too belong, and, and, and there's no space that's offensive just by name or the symbols around it to others in our community. Right. Well, Prof, unfortunately, that's all the time I had with you. Wish we had more, but thank you so much for taking time this morning to speak to us, Vice-Chancellor of UCT, Professor Mamkheti Pake.